What's going on, everybody? John again with Grace, Liberty, and the finished work of Jesus Christ here for another drive-by devotional. So something that's been on my mind is, well, division. You see, there's a lot going on in the world. And there is a lot of people on multiple sides of every issue. And something happens and people start attacking each other. Even believers in Jesus Christ. COVID. COVID divided this country uh, more than almost anything we've seen in probably about a hundred years. Elections. There's been a lot of massive division, people hating each other because of the people that they support politically. This situation with the Olympics in Paris. And on and on and on and on it goes. And we think in our finite minds that Satan wants to see liberals get in or conservatives get in. We think that Satan wants everybody to wear a mask or wants everybody to stay home. We think Satan wants a guy painted blue to show up you know, on the Olympic stage, but that is not true. Satan doesn't care about these things. You think he cares about those things? Back in the day, um, a few decades ago, you would hear a lot about um, animal sacrifices by Satan worshippers in the woods. The problem is, Satan doesn't care about that stuff. You think Satan cares about that stuff? No. These things are distractions. They are distractions meant to keep us from seeing the truth. The truth of Satan causing a massive division. You see, back in the day, um, magic wands were made for this one purpose. To distract the people watching. Right? Because, you know, magicians you see that come to your house or on stage, they're just illusionists. They don't do actual magic, but they're really fast with their hands. So, they would take the magic wand and go, and for the split second that your eye is not 100% on his hands, he does the trick. And this is what Satan is doing. He is distracting us from the truth. And the truth is, that he wants us to not focus on the one thing that we should be focusing on. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Instead, we're focused on little stupid things that have no consequence, really, whatsoever, if we were to focus on Jesus. And there's hatred and division and people standing on soapboxes to proclaim what they know to be true. Except Jesus makes it very clear in Revelation, I believe it's chapter 2, when he's talking to the church at Ephesus and says, Listen, you do all these cool things, but I've got one thing against you. You've lost your first love. 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 1 Corinthians 1 through 3. Uh, 13, 1 through 3. Without love, none of that stuff matters. So, my friend, let us 
Take a deep breath. Refocus. And focus on what matters most. The love of God. God bless and thanks for driving along with me.